right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. It is card show day, going to the Valley Showcase. It's kind of in West Phoenix, so about 25 minutes away from me. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Just stop at the ATM and pick up some money. I've got a little bit left over from my last few shows, but just wanna go in just in case anything big pops up. This show is like quarterly, I would say. And I didn't go to the last one, so excited to go back to this one. I don't know how much I typically spend here. I'd say anywhere from two to three hundred, but we'll see what's out there. All right, so just tried to get cash, and the ATM did not work, so that's not great. I really don't want to like go out of my way to another ATM, and I might just drive out to the show. I had like two seventy-five-ish in my Zion case. Not a terrible amount to bring in, but I do like to bring, you know, close to four to 500 personally. It wouldn't be bad just to be on that kind of budget though and, and maybe use Cash App or Venmo or anything else if I absolutely need it. Maybe it'll help limit my spend, which would be nice. But if there's an ATM on the way there, then maybe I'll try to hit that. So we'll see what happens. Don't really have an objective today. Just gonna see what's out there. Again, trying to save my money for Bowman University, trying to cash out on a lot of inventory today. Saturday or in Sunday, I'm going to be selling a lot of stuff on Twitter and Discord. So I'll be posting a lot, trying to clear out of inventory. So I guess I'm not trying to buy too much. Two things I do need to find penny sleeves because I have four boxes of Bowman U coming in 10 days or so now. And then hopefully something for like a giveaway, some wax or something. Hopefully I can get that. Otherwise, nothing too crazy that I really want. Um, you know, football is just in a weird place right now. Maybe if there's like some sleeper guys that I kind of want to buy low in on, you know, maybe I'll look at that, but not trying to go too crazy. So I guess I'm just going to go straight to the show. We'll skip that uh, ATM and we'll see what happens. I'll take you along and we'll see you there. All right, just got to the show a couple minutes early, but we'll see what we get done here. There's supposed to be a taco truck here, so excited about that. All right, so leaving the show, I totally forgot to get footage of just the show itself. I was just talking to a lot of the vendors, looking around, a lot of new vendors, a lot of familiar faces for me. So just totally blanked on that. I'm gonna have a chat with my video department just as we're starting to grow and change up our content. That's something that I want to have going forward. So get that corrected. I only ended up buying one card. I looked around at a lot of different vendors and just didn't really see anything. Again, I mentioned I'm not really like trying to buy a whole lot right now trying to save my money kind of i'm low on com c funds i kind of want to dump some money into com c been having a lot of luck with that i looked at wax there for like a giveaway i didn't oh shoot I, I didn't check for supplies i need penny sleeves bad i was looking for wax and that stuff was just crazy overpriced so i was out on that i'm gonna try to find something to give away soon when i get home i'll show you what i got and then go from there should be easy to comp list i think it'll move it just seemed like the best priced card that I saw there. Everything else, you know, there wasn't anything crazy that I that I really needed to have. So yeah, I'm gonna get home, show you what I got, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so back from the show, only picked up one card today. Got it for 20 bucks, so I'm gonna show you what I picked up. And then also got a fat stack of cards for free from my boy Toki. Um, he is mostly Pokemon and just had a bunch of mosaic and optic that he didn't know what to do with, so said I, I would be just better off selling it um, than him. So I'm gonna show you everything that was in that stack. All right, so my one pickup was this Terrell Davis In It To Win It Mosaic Gold, number 10. Picked this up for 20 bucks in the one touch. You know, again, I, I value the one touches at like three, four bucks, and then the card itself is nice. So I think I can get anywhere from 30 to $40 for this. Uh, but just one card today not a whole lot that i just really was interested in again i'm just kind of not in a huge buying mood right now with bowman university coming out in about two weeks so we'll see what happens there and then here is the stack that i got from toki uh just some optic basketball i'm not a basketball guy but uh, i'm just gonna try to figure out what i want to do with kind of these inserts some purple shock that ad color match is nice trey young a couple big names here but um, you know, just some, some stuff that I won't grind out. I'll probably just lot this all up and see what I can get out of that. A couple of rookies here, just some base. So nothing crazy there. And then the rest is all going to be Mosaic, Ayuk, Rondale, Clinton Portis. And these are you know, maybe 50 cents a piece, a nice CD there. 
Um, you'll always get some, some cowboy collectors. And this is just all gonna be base mosaic. Nothing crazy, but of course, uh, always I'll, I'll take a, a free stack of cards and uh, see what I can do with it. Definitely appreciate that. So this is just all base. I think there's a couple of rookies. Uh, Cam Britt, George Pickens, nice one there. Uh, Devin Lloyd, Hamilton, J.J. Watt, Color, Ruckert. Uh, nice Jamar Chase. And then these two I will keep. Malik Willis, NFL debut. This is the Mosaic Parallel. And then a Silver, this is the Variation. So I think the Titans would be silly to continue to run Tannehill out there. I think he's going to get a shot coming up pretty soon. So these won't be crazy, you know, maybe 4 or $5 a piece, but I think it's uh, at least worth holding. All of this stuff, I'll, you know, probably do 10 12 bucks shipped for everything and see if uh, we get any action there. And then shout out Frank AZHP Collectibles. One of the best in Phoenix. Uh, has a great YouTube channel, a great website for all of the card shows in the state. Um, so this is business card on card auto. Very cool. So shout out Frank. So that's everything from the card show. Pretty quick, again, totally forgot about footage in the actual show, and then only one pickup today in that stack of optic and mosaic. So uh, appreciate you tuning in. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.